Hello everyone. Today we have with us Rinki. Rinki is currently working with the AI ML team, that is artificial intelligence and machine learning team at Fractal Analytics. Rinki is also an active contributor to Omdena's social AI projects and was also a former Kaggle Days Mumbai organizer. She was also a former data science ambassador at Women in Data Science Mumbai. Thank you, Rinki. Thank you for joining us today. Uh, thanks, Sudhakar, uh, for uh, taking my interview. I think it's an awesome opportunity to uh, share my experience at Fractal. <laughs> yes, Rinki, definitely. Uh, yeah, Rinki. So first of all, we can begin with your, uh, you know, uh, how your office day unfolds. Actually, means at Fractal, what you do as a data scientist. Okay, so uh, uh, so uh, as you know, Fractal is a service-based company. That means uh, we have uh, products also. We have uh, products like Cuddle, Eugenie, uh, Theremin. So these are all kind of products, but they have uh, the, they, uh, that's a separate department, and we uh, have uh, uh, quite uh, quite good uh, data scientists over there. who are working over there who are PhDs are, and uh, who come from elite institution. Talking about myself, what I do is like. I I work in the service part of Fractal, where we have different clients and we have to uh, make uh, POCs for them. Uh, so, so yeah, uh, talking about my day at Fractal, it uh, definitely we work in an agile way. So our day be begins with a meeting with our, of our whole team by uh, discussing the work which we have previously done and now what we have to uh, do, uh, like what is our uh, current to do for uh, for the day. So our day begins with a meet, we with a meet and greet with all of all of our team members, and after that we start with our day with um, coding because uh, uh, um, that, yeah I don't know, but there is a misconception that data scientists should only know um, stats and uh, mathematics and etc. That's not true. Uh, actually, in in India, if you want to be a data scientist, you need to be a very good coder. You need to uh, know how to write efficient coding, uh, and also you need to understand how to write optimized SQL uh, SQL coding because that is very important part of our life. So our day begins with uh, like uh, example. If, if uh, today I have to make a data pipeline, example example like uh, if a client has said that you need to um, make a data pipeline to fetch this this data, and then you have to clean it and make a ML uh, pipeline for us. So our day begins with uh, like understanding okay, we these have these data sources out of which. We which uh, could be uh, helpful for us. So um, um, most of our work is, I can say, 50% of our work is just uh, researching and understanding like, okay, this features could be important. Or, or, or if sometimes if we don't have data, we need to understand from where we can scrape that data or um, get the data, data from the market by scraping other websites or something. So I would say if you want to come uh, come in this data science field, the most important thing which is very essential is research mindset. Need to understand that everything you can't just Google or everything you, you, you can't just uh, get on stack overflow. You need to research, you need to understand and you need to experiment. So I would describe the work of data scientists in the, I mean, uh, I won't say that uh, um, this is something we would be doing the whole day, this whole three things which I'm going to say. Because this, uh, sometimes uh, we would be only doing two or, uh, out of this three, only two things or something. So yeah, uh, let me say these three things, which is ideate, experiment, and implement. You need to uh, think for idea, you need to experiment, you need to research, and then you need to also implement. Because only given ideas are uh, definitely you know, not of use of any business. So I would, uh, I, I would describe my whole day, or uh, which is which just goes around these three things. That is an uh, search for ideas, uh, which would uh, like search for business use case. And if you have the business use case, you need to uh, see that uh, either we have this data, then uh, write an efficient data pipeline, uh, then see if this is really going to be uh, like useful for your client. If, because see, uh, the data science is something which helps clients to get extra profit in their business. And if your solution is not giving that, it's of no use. It is only good at Kaggle. But it's not used for your uh, business, right? So yeah, uh, I think that uh, answers your question, so that can... Yes, thank you definitely. So I think a, a couple of points which you have uh, cleared out for the audience that uh, people sometimes they have this conception that data science they uh, they do not do coding, but you have cleared out that they also need to know uh, coding and they need to write efficient code at several occasions. 
So I think these things will help them out. So we can maybe uh, in this uh, part only we can talk a bit about the tools or languages that you use, you know, on daily basis. Okay. So the tools and uh, languages which uh, I think I would. Uh, divide this into three things first of all uh, you need to know a bit of excel i won't say that that is going to be useful in every project but i feel uh, if you are a beginner data scientist you need to know quite a bit of excel to uh, uh, like if your data is small or something you uh, or, or you just want to do some a uh, bit uh, visualization or something i feel uh, excel is also important if you are a beginner but uh, that is not um, been used in every project but i feel that is important to know a uh, little bit of excel and after that uh, i will talk about the data engineering tools um, so the data engineering tools which are very important is need to know sql sql is up most important you need to know what are windows function you need to understand those joins you need to understand how to optimize the code because uh, you have uh, like uh, millions of rows of data so you need to understand how fast you can write the queries or how uh, so uh, here it, it actually comes the um, you know uh, if you practice a lot then you would be uh, getting this so uh, you need to understand that you need to write such queries that it would only um, go through those part of the uh, table which you need to fetch it, it should not iterate to the whole rows or or the whole whole the database that, that would uh, just take out your time and uh, it would let to your project that uh, the delivery speed getting more slow so sql is very important understanding hadoop and big data tools are very important it's okay if you are a beginner you don't need to understand uh, like you don't need to be a pro in big data but at least knowing sql is up most important and knowing the hadoop concepts are also important after that python i would say uh, uh, I, i feel most of the audience would be little bit afraid of the data structures and algorithm but i would say that is very important it's okay if you are beginner you, uh, you don't know trees or something that's okay but you need to understand what the searching and the sorting algorithms i feel uh, i feel algorithms and data structures are important because it helps you to understand like how efficient code you can write it will it will force your brain to um, like uh, like me make it think that uh, uh, like how efficient way you can write it how you can eliminate those for loops or what techniques you can use that is very important because python sql this are part of the data pipeline and data pipeline is one of the initial stage and this has to be fast has to be rela- uh, reliable else uh, if your data pipeline is not working your ml algorithm won't work because data pipeline fetches data to your ml algorithm and if that fails or if that is very slow your ml algorithm won't work and that's a failed project so um, excel for very basic um, sql uh, for making data pipelines up most important and python and in python you need to be, uh, know very well pandas or using uh, sqlite i feel that it is very important to understand pandas and numpy that's a basic tool everyone uses it after that uh, you need to understand sklearn sklearn is a very basic ml uh, ml library which is uh, part of the uh, of, of a pandas sklearn library and uh, after that if you are a beginner i feel um, keras would be a very good uh, um, uh, uh, framework for uh, every deep learning enthusiast or every uh, data science enthusiast because tensorflow and pytorch would be little verbose so i feel uh, i feel that keras is something which you should know so kind of summarizing everything excel for beginners sql for data pipeline python for uh, uh, coding that is very important uh, sklearn and keras this is very important for all the beginners and if you are a intermediate uh, go for pytorch or uh, tensor flow um uh, for for uh, for data pipeline i would say that now actually what we are seeing that companies are mostly interested in cloud and never underestimate data engineering if you think that you are you are a data scientist and like uh, data engineering is something which every software engineer does no because um, uh, what i could see in market is people don't want those people who are, who who just know that like uh, to run uh, ml algorithm for that you, you you either need to be a phd or you need to have ms in data science or if you are just a uh, no, graduate uh, person that i feel that you need to know both data engineering and data science that is what even i am learning um, that's the reason even i am advising the same to you all 
you need to understand both data engineering and data science well because uh, because uh, people like us uh, uh, maybe if you uh, you are capable of making new algorithms i don't know but many people uh, i would say 90% people we won't be able to make new uh, ml algorithms we would be using the traditional random forest or decision tree right so that is very uh, for people like us it is very important to understand both data science and data engineering because that would give you an added advantage so so when co uh, companies want to hire you if they see that you understand both data science and data engineering that that means you are an added advantage to them they would definitely go like hire you because 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 definitely uh, if, if take an example if, if i am a ceo i i want to save my cost right so uh, why should i hire hire two people if i can get everything that in one person Yes. I'm not telling you to be master in everything, but a, a say if you are uh, like uh, like example one day your Hadoop cluster is down or some something happens in the SQL pipeline and you are saying I'm a data scientist I only know SQL and then Python and I'm I don't know how to handle SQL. That's a very bad thing because you know and, and you know things are getting automated. You know even uh, GPT three even uh, that had a uh, huge. Um, uh, like the huge uh, hotness in the market that it will replace all programmers. Definitely, that is not happening for next 20 years at least. Uh, people won't be replacing programmers, but automation will be there. So please uh, keep your learning mindset. I feel if if, if you you are in uh, a, uh, if you are in any kind of field, but um, you need to have a learning mindset because uh, if you don't learn, then definitely uh, whenever there is a uh, you can say downsizing in a company, you would be the first one to be kicked off, right? So uh, have that mindset that I should learn, and yeah, uh, and you should be always ready to uh, learn, implement, and and and, and uh, don't try to uh, divide that data. Data engineering is something which a uh, software engineer would be doing. I am a data scientist. I'm a, I, or, or or like uh, if someone is afraid of coding, um, then then uh, you should not be uh, like want to be a data analyst or data. Um, scientists because i feel that would be a short term thing maybe after two or three years you would get replaced so don't be afraid of coding it is very important to learn it and if you start with uh, like uh, any if you want to start learning with coding i feel it uh, to make a habit it takes 21 days uh, it solve uh, one problem every day in 21 days you won't be afraid of coding don't be afraid and just learn that uh, uh, for, for current market needs, uh, if you just uh, get a fundamental certification in cloud, like AZ900 for Azure or uh, or or for uh, or some some basic fundamental certification for AWS or GCP. GCP is little hard, I think. But uh, for Azure and AWS, I feel if you have a you are a fresher and um, Want to enter data science? If you have a good portfolio of data science, having a fundamental certification of cloud like AZ900 or or AWS fundamentals something that would really really help you to get a good job because recruiters really look like uh, look out for people who uh, who uh, are ready to learn and who are also uh, like a, a fairly good at uh, data engineering along with data science. It would really give you a boost to your uh, resume.